Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some Europa Universalis 4 as Morocco in our Morocco campaign. Last we left off, we conquered some stuff from Tunis. We are, for the moment at peace, we are ahead on all of our technologies. We do have some advisors. We're making some money. We're at full army maintenance at the moment. We should maybe be expecting a revolt here. Possibly. Um, actually, maybe not. Maybe we're not in risk of revolt. <clears throat> let's see. Trade guilds and fraternities. Yep. Let's take that legalism. Let's see. Um, actually, we may not get a revolt. Yeah, we actually we will probably be okay. Let's take a look here at our states real fast. Uh, let's see. Trade failure. Nope. We don't want to do that. We do need we do need our trade. <clears throat> um, we can give Constantine to the Emirs. That sounds good. Uh, let's go and get that levy. It's gonna reduce the influence of the nobility a little bit. We're waiting for some manpower to come back. We need about nine thousand or so. <clears throat> Could raise some additional levies. I don't think we'll worry about it though. Um, let's see. You guys, merchant guilds, could ask for a contribution. We don't have any debt or anything, but there there are a few things we have to do. Um, we don't make that much from trade, so I'm actually going to go ahead and, yeah. Let's go and split these forces here. Let's have you just, yeah, defend Kabilia here. Okay. <clears throat> so we're just letting some uh, some empire come back. We will eventually proceed down south. We're going to be attacking Timbuktu, who's allied with Air and Nupe, but we're not going to be doing that yet, just because we're we're out of manpower and fighting in Africa is going to really kind of cost us some manpower. I do groups are uh, aristocratic expansion and trade, and then eventually we, we might get exploration. We might not actually need it. To be honest, actually, um, administrative would actually probably go a long way. Core creation cost minus twenty five percent. Uh, it's probably pretty good. <clears throat> see, protests in mid a year. Uh, fix that. Um, let's see. We have a little bit of enforcement available. <clears throat> we have a little bit of enforcement available. We have 34 inventory, 4 cavalry, and 4 artillery. <clears throat> we should maybe change that. Um,. We could reorganize the armies a little bit. Do we have any cavalry combat ability? We do. It's only 10% though. We do get some more here as slave soldiers. So cavalry is worth keeping around. Um, Let's actually take a look here. So if I, if I want to reorganize this army, right? <clears throat> uh, Apparently we have some mercenaries. Let's get rid of those guys. <clears throat> Uh, we also have some more force before our ships. That's actually pretty good. We should get some more. Um, combat with is 25. So we need... Send over the cavalry. So 21 and 4. Send over the artillery for them, which leaves us with 11 and 4 here. So this is a full army. Um, I'll send you to Kabilia so you guys can start... I'll probably just have them drill... Um, okay, so what do we need here? So we have eight forcemen available. So we can get 19 inventory. Get some more cav. <clears throat> we make a decent amount of money, but war reps has to do with that. At Queen Lou and the Memlix apparently are giving us more reps. Um, and in fact, you know what I think we'll do is instead of grabbing, instead of making like another field army here, why don't we just add more artillery to this stack? It's expensive, but I do think it's worth it. Then again, artillery are not exactly that useful at this stage right now. Maybe I would actually appreciate having another army kind of running around. <clears throat> it's not like attacking these guys in the south is going to be particularly painful. Um, let's take a look here for vassalizations, if anybody will accept one. Doesn't look like it. Molly is pretty big. Um,
Imperial cities. Where's Garb? If we get this up to 15 developments, something is supposed to happen here. Let's take a look. The great cities of Morocco have been neglected for too long. We must restore them to their former glory to decide which of them shall be our capital. <clears throat> the Imperial cities. Throughout its history, several great cities have had the honor of being the political center of the Moroccan Sultanate. Under the Idrisids and the Marinids, the northern city of Fez has been the favorite seat of government, allowing its rulers to lead the charge against their enemies in Iberian Eastern Maghreb. The Almoravids, Almavarids, and the Almohads favored the southern city of Marrakesh. I have to admit, here in Fez, we do have cloth. Uh, Marrakesh... Marrakesh has sugar. It is also mountains. I don't think Garb... Um, I don't want to say that Garb or McNeese make the most sense for a capital. <clears throat> I think, honestly, keeping Fez as a capital might be better. Um, it is maybe a little close to the Iberian powers. It's, it's maybe a little dangerous. Then again, I'm not sure Marrakesh is really all that much better anyway, either. So let's, let's keep the capital of Fez. I think there's, there's nothing really wrong with that. Um, let's see. So the Heron route by establishing a permanent trade route across the Sahara, we would gain access to the rich, uh, to the riches of West Africa. Okay. <clears throat> We got caravan power, and then when we conquer Timbuktu, when we conquer these provinces here, we're going to get permanent claims on the Niger Bend, the Western Sahara, and the Dendi. So that's good. Conquer Algiers, Pirate Havens, take Granada. Let's see, claim the Canaries. <clears throat> Actually, might not be a bad idea to attack the uh, Castilians and take some of that. Hmm. So we'll vassalize. We'll probably maybe... Hmm. We may destroy Timbuk too. I'm not sure if we want to vassalize him. We might vassalize Air though. That would probably be a good idea. <clears throat> Use him to expand down here. And give care one to the Emirs. Let's do that. Because we do need we do need more force limit. So it's it's useful to have some more um have some more force limit. Oh, that's right. We do some maintenance here, but we actually still need to um, maintain this unrest. <clears throat> Ooh, I'll take it. Um, let's improve relations with our allies. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. To make two is guaranteed by Molly. Molly for, the, for for now won't join. We should probably let's see, Air, who are you allied to? Nupe and Timbuktu. Okay, so we'll probably vassalize Air. Yeah, do we have a aggressive expansion? No. <clears throat> okay. Um, do we have professionalism? We don't. I could use some empire right now. I'm not expecting this war would take that long, but... 7,000. It's going to be kind of painful. Um, I'm going to go and raise the levies here. Let's march down there. Let's actually declare war on him. I'm going to, I'm going to co-belligerent, um, air. What about Nupe? I don't even know where he is. You know, lines offer from Janae. I don't even know where Janae is, dude. Really? I can't even see you. Wow. <clears throat> Alright, whatever. Yeah. Cold Belligerent Air. I can't even I can't even see Nupe. I don't know where he is. So oh well.
Let's see. Could take that. We don't exactly need it right now. Expansion's going to give us merchants. We have 12% spy power in Sevilla. We should make that better. I could maybe make Tangiers into a world port. It's probably not a bad idea. Um, we can also upgrade these guys from level 1s to level 2s. I mean, we have enough trade power in Safi, but the more trade power we have here, the more we're going to get over here. Because this is our primary trade node. So, yeah. Actually, we definitely should make this into a world port at some at some point. <clears throat> um, kind of the same thing goes for here. The more trade power we steer away from this place, the better. Yeah, once we have Tunis, we can dominate trade here in Tunis. So, let's go for the capital. Um, I don't imagine that he'll move troops through here. Maybe he could. No, I guess he is going to. Hmm. This guy does not have siege. It's kind of unfortunate. I don't want him to attack the colony, so we'll just keep a smoke garrison there. Uh, we need what ten thousand for that? <clears throat> for the siege of Timbuktu. Yeah, that's some serious attrition down here in Africa. All right. Well, first we'll occupy Timbuk 2 and then we'll move we'll move east. Yeah. What's our siege day takes here? Damn! <clears throat> 21 day siege takes. Holy shit. That is impressive. Let's go and discover the Niger. We can actually steal more maps for Guinea. Sure. We lose our spy power, but I'm willing to do it. <clears throat> Just to kind of see what's going on over here. Let's see. His Holiness the Pope has tasked Commission of Cardinals with addressing the challenges posed by the Protestant movement. Protestantism seems to be pretty strong. Usually it is. It's usually pretty strong. Um, in most of these games. Okay, so we've just got a, some troops there. This is a better combat leader, but to be fair, this guy's got siege. So, we may want to uh, reorganize the armies there. Um, yeah, let's keep taking that legalism. Send some troops to air. You guys will just occupy this stuff here in the south. Let's actually move together. Okay. Let's take a look here. So the Niger and the Sahel. <clears throat> it's actually a little smaller than I kind of anticipated. Like, we can conquer this pretty fast, to be honest. Um... I know also some people were kind of disappointed that I wasn't going to be going for Andalusia. I guess we could, but I mean, we kind of already did that as Granada. That was that was pretty fun. So I'm not so concerned with um, with with doing it now. Oh, so that's Janae. Okay. <clears throat> Distance between borders. Some of these guys would accept masculinization probably if we were closer. If we were closer to some of them. Take that, take that. <clears throat> we don't need missionary strength necessarily. Um, in fact, national unrest might come in handy. Stability cost modifier, you get the prestige, trade efficiency. Mm. Mm. Eh, that actually could come in handy. I guess we're debasing currency here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go and buy that down. Okay, so we got plenty of money. We do have to upgrade a few things actually. So I got some carrots over here we have to upgrade. We got some 
No, these are, these are transports. Got Kirks and stuff over here. Wait, you guys. No, you guys are okay. Uh, we can actually raid coasts here. It's actually been a while since we raided coasts. One second. Okay, so we won this war. We won this conflict without fighting a single battle. That's some crazy shit. Uh, we've got a stability drop. We have a 530 air in charge. Sounds good. I think Tunis is probably still raiding out here, so it's affecting some of our raiding capacity. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Um, we don't need legitimacy. Or if they were air. We don't need legitimacy. I do like that legalism, though, so I'm going to go and take that. Apparently, Florence owns Corsica. It's curious. Okay, so air, you're going to vassalize Moroccan vassal. It's kind of expensive. You're going to go expansion with Tunis, apparently. He's actually not willing to do this yet. Feels separate. I'm actually going to send them back north for that. Ooh, what's going on here? What? How was that not a stack wide? Jesus. Oh, shit. Okay. Believe it or not, there actually is a lot of base tax down here that's pretty easy to, um, pretty easy to acquire. So... <clears throat> Should we go after Nupe? We could. The question is, where the hell is this guy's army? Um, you know, actually, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, we could go after Nupe. Uh, I got a siege leader I can put in charge there. We can actually march there. It's kind of expensive as far as manpower, but... I think the worst deal in the world. Just a real quick siege. Something really fast. Should be able to do within like 30 days. Yeah. Okay. So then for air, we're going to vassalize you. So you can't conquer it, right? No, you can't conquer it. Okay. So yeah, we're going to vassalize you. And we're going to come back from you. And then Timbuktu, what are we going to do here? How much can I take? Can't fully annex him, but I can get kind of close to it. Honestly, I'm not even worried about a coalition. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Full marriage. Let's improve relations there. Don't need to worry about that. Okay, so we conquered Timbuk too, so we're going to get permanent claims down a lot of this. Um, We can start coring. We lost some diplo points. That's okay, though. It's fine. Okay, if you were dead. We'll keep one main army down here. Um, We have some unrest. If summon rest, we should be able to take care of it, though. I'm not that concerned. I'll make a generous donation to Lima. Make them feel happy. I can call it a yet here. Um, manpower cover speed. You know, actually, we didn't lose that much manpower in that war. So, um, looks like Castile annexed Naples. No big surprise there. We're going to be on Admin Tech 10. No, actually, he should be there by now. Why is he not? Oh, no, he's not even at Admin Tech 10 yet. Yeah. It's kind of surprising. 
so... Okay, let's focus the 977. Yeah, let's balance this out a little bit. Take trade in Sevilla. I do want some more boats. Um, let's get... What can we afford? We can actually afford quite a few more ships. Let's get 15 transports. Let's get two more Carricks. I'm actually getting rid of this galley. We probably don't need them. And I think the rest is going to be trade ships. Yeah. Because if we, if we have enough trade ships, we can rest control away from... Um, if we have enough trade ships, we can rest control away from uh, Sevilla from the Castilians. And then now, I think since I have some cash... How much does this cost? This is 200? Yeah, for the Interpose. Hmm. Well, actually, since we haven't done any construction of buildings in a while... Let's take a look that way. Um, I definitely should get some shipyards. That would seriously help us out. Manufactories? I got one copper manufactory we can work on. And then, um, well, what I was thinking with, okay, so what I was thinking with the Mamluks, we're not going to be conquering the Mamluks at all. Like, I don't want their territory. Um, but likely what we will do, can I still declare war in Tuscany? See, we can attack Tunis in three years. We can also attack the Mamluks in three years. What I wanted to do was I wanted to attack the Mamluks and, like, humiliate them and stuff like that. Um, and take their money and stuff, but, but make sure that the Ottomans don't expand against them. You know, we call in the Ottomans pretty much every time. But no territory is actually taken. Um, we took Cyrenaica just because I wanted to have Cyrenaica as kind of a buffer here. But we didn't actually need it. Like, it's not that important for anything. In fact, I should give this to... Yeah, the Merchant Guilds. We can do that. You know, it wasn't actually that important to take it. It just... It, it helped me out to do some. So. Um, let's see. Damn, our income dropped significantly. Hmm. I wonder why. Corruption spending, maybe? Yeah, this seems about right. We also lost the war reps, but that's okay. Let's see. I can insult. Who are my rivals? Yeah, Castile. I can send a scornful insult to you. That would get people to like me. Apparently, the France is rival to the Mamluks. So we get some power projection for that. Fifth rank great power includes Portugal. Humiliated the Mamluks. Um, let's take that. Let's get some more of these. We're about to finish up aristocratic. Okay. They're pretty good on everything. Um... Let's see, we can get a government reform. Generals of States, aristocratic court, world decree. I'll go for generals of states. Um, states general is the best, but we we have our ICTA government form, so we can't can't use it with that. Um let's see. I do kind of like that money, but eh. Lemson. For damn ten years gets treaty value modifier minus fifty percent. Jesus. For just loyalty? No, it's not worth it. That's so not worth it. Could demand some military support. Could be old. Um Income is not bad at full army maintenance. Income is not too bad. I love army, spine reconstruction. We're actually doing okay mostly on points. Um, we haven't really progressed in expansion all that much, though, which is a concern to me. Hmm. Apparently, rebels are broken Timbuktu. Holy shit, Molly's going through some serious separatism. Um, let's go ahead and actually improve relations with outraged countries, I think. We'll send, like, two diplomats for that. We can, we, we can increase the size of our military quite a bit, um, which we should do. I do also want to invest in our in our buildings, but, 
Honestly, in my opinion, I think maintaining a large large military is kind of priority. So, oh, we have some state edicts. You know, I'm actually I'm willing to keep that edict on. That's actually pretty useful. Yeah. Okay, let's take a quick break here, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Consider supporting the channel on Patreon or value to memberships down below, and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much.